Hello defenders, welcome back to our channel. So welcome back to specially our web application pen testing series. In this particular series, we are on challenge number 19. And this particular challenge is really interesting because it's one of its kind in the entire platform, right? Let us see this. What does it say? It says, Vinod Sendhil looks at the rooms of an enormous palace. The room requires anyone who seeks to enter it to answer a question about the Mughal history. Hope he is well versed with the long line of history of Mughal emperors. This is the already a key takeaway or a hint that's given, right? Upon clearing this challenge, you get to earn five points. Using hint, you lose one point and there are only one person who's already solved. That's actually not the right information. I have truncated the database, so you, you didn't see that. Now, let us do this. It says, click here to get the password. I click on this. When I click on this, I get a page which has a login page, right? So I am going to first try the technique we already know, which is authentication bypass, right? So I'm saying admin and uh, single quote or single quote one, single quote equals single quote one. I'll tell you what I've typed in the notepad. So this is exactly what I've typed in in the notepad. So I'm just copying and pasting it here. Let us see if it works. It says invalid login detail, which means that this application is not prone to a authentication bypass related SQL injection because there is enough validation done for the injection portion, right? Now, if you notice this particular page, it already clearly tells us uh, that hope he is well versed with the long list of history of Mughal emperors, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm opening wiki uh, or uh, sorry, chat GPT, right? And I'm going to create a password list, right? Let us see this. List me all the M EMPE emperors of the dynasty. Okay. Okay, lovely. It's also giving detailed information when to when, uh, when was the rain and uh, what was their speciality or the small description. I just want the names. Certainly. Okay, lovely. It's given all the names. I am, I want the names in small letters because I'm just going to create a, a dictionary of the names, right? I'm just asking it in small letters and look at what I'm going to do. It has already given me 18 names, right? So I want one word per line, right? So when I say this, let's see what happens. Wow. No, it's actually giving two words also. I just want one word per line. Lovely. Look at this. Lovely. So you are actually getting the list of all the emperor's names, but you also have some repetitive because you have Shah, Shah, you have uh, I, you have I, I twice here, right? So remove unique so what i'm doing is i'm just creating a list which has all possible yeah all possible emperor's names with just one word which i can use both as a dictionary attack for both the username uh, portion and the password portion right let us see this now i copy the whole thing Right now, I paste it to a notepad. Lovely. Okay, I pasted the whole list in notepad. You can see Babur, Himayun, Akbar, Jahangir, Shah, Jah, Shah, Jah, Jahan, or whatever. Aurangzeb, Zib, Bahadur, Shah, I, whatever. These are all the list of all possible emperors' names in a list format. Right. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is. I'm going to open Firefox because I'm just going to open a MITM tool, man in the middle tool 
and hence I'm using a different browser. Let us go to ctf.digiler.com. Please pay attention. I am setting here on proxy. I'm setting a proxy in this particular system for 8080. Okay, there is a catch here. I want you all to pay attention. When I click on this login page, it comes up with the warning. Why? Because there is a HSTS as a part of this, right? See, I say accept the risk and continue. Look at this error, unknown issuer. Okay, I say accept the risk and continue. Okay, this page has a small pop-up with an error. But again, when I click login with Google, see what happens. Okay. Okay, it says this. You still don't have an option which says continue, right? Continue the error because it is saying MITM detected and they don't allow to. Uh, Google does not uh, encourage doing the MITM because it clearly has a flag set for it so that a MITM cannot be performed. Man in the middle cannot be performed, right? So what I do is at this point in time, I am going to switch off the proxy login and then enable the proxy simple as that right now i click on this look at this how beautifully it opens logged in perfect right it got logged in and i absolutely had no issues now i'm going to enable the proxy again so what i did is 